Good day, folks. Welcome to another edition of Lumberjack Logic. I'm your host, Neil Johnson. Folks, there is no introspection in the Democrat Party right now. I mean, there's a few. But look at the ladies of The View. When one actually says Bernie Sanders might have been right, it devolves into utter chaos. It is absolutely wild. They cannot think to themselves for a second that the Democrat policies might have been bad, that maybe gender mutilation of kids wasn't good, that maybe it wasn't okay to just allow inflation to run rampant, that the open border might have actually been a problem, that crime might have actually been a problem. This is wild. It's like these cat ladies going at each other. It's the craziest clips. You're going to have so much fun with this, and so am I. Let's get right into it. If if you're new, please subscribe and smash that like. Agree. All right. Um, I think that the that I, I'd like to reframe the conversation. I think Bernie Sanders is wrong. I think the more relevant question actually is what is wrong with America? I think um, what is wrong with our country that the Republican Party would choose as a candidate and support a candidate who is an insurrectionist, who is an election denier, who is someone who was twice impeached, 34-time convicted felon, um, someone who has been accused of alleged sexual misconduct by 26 women, uh, found liable for sexual abuse. Uh, what is wrong with this country that they would choose a message of divisiveness, of xenophobia, of racism, of misogyny, over a message of inclusiveness, a message for the people, by but the people, on, of the people. That is what the problem is. It's he the won Republican the popular vote. Party. So Sonny absolutely loses it. And the other lady brings up, well, he did win the popular vote. And she keeps going on with the same media narrative about misogyny and so on. Did you know that Susan Wiles, Susie Wiles, was just hired as the chief of staff for Donald Trump's administration? That's right. Donald Trump, who does have, he has no powerful, sharp women around him, according to Mark Cuban. He just named Susie Wiles his chief of staff, one of the most important positions that you can give somebody as a president. And they're talking about misogyny. They're talking about all this, all these convicted, he's a convicted felon so many times over by a weaponized justice department. They, how how they run around and say this stuff, but they supported Bill Clinton. I mean, it is absolute lunacy, these people, but it gets better. But can I, yeah. can I, what's can wrong I with say America? something before we can yeah. do a second? The, the Democrats are the ones, they are the, 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 the party that cares for the blue collar. Exactly. The, the Democrats are the ones who put in Social Security, Medicare, Medicare. Medicaid, union protection, ACA. unemployment insurance and Obamacare. That's right. Obamacare. That the only reason they could pass this stuff was so unpopular. The only way they could pass it was to steal the Senate seat in Minnesota through three recounts with Al Franken. Then do the Cornhusker kickback, the Louisiana Purchase. Do you guys remember this? It was that unpopular. And then they rammed it down our throats anyways. I don't want that. In fact, and then Social Security. Security. They go on and talk about that. I'm serious. In the chat below, please tell me, are any of you that enamored with Social Security? It was absolutely one of the greatest government boondoggles of all time in my mind. Now it's here and people who paid in should get it. But all of you would have done better in the market had you just had it to invest yourselves. But instead, the government takes it and then gives it back to you on pittance of interest and calls it a gift. What the hell is this? The Republican Party doesn't give a rat's patootie well, about it. They didn't Come on. The voters so so yeah. all I can deduce, all I can deduce, is that it's the messaging. It didn't get through to people. They're not paying attention. That's all. Yeah. Because it, the Democrats have always been for the working people. Exactly. And the Republicans don't. I think, don't think, don't think, think the, the, the message of the Democrats sounded elitist. You don't va have value in the society. They you don't sounded have a college that way. Degree. But when you look at the but proof, yeah, but, but, but Joy, it's condescending. It's condescending. Do you guys remember the Tea Party Revolution? That's right. And that was all about the messaging, too. And then they were saying that Barack Obama didn't carry his message well enough. The guy would never shut up. And then uh, even the ACA, we didn't want that. That was a problem with messaging. They always think it's a problem with messaging because they don't ever think that their ideas might just be unpopular. Like cutting off a boy's penis might not be the thing to do. It might not be all that popular. It's absolutely crazy. They are absolutely the most condescending 
people. I mean, they call us garbage, deplorables. Tim Walls, who was running on the Democrat ticket, he calls us in rural Minnesota rocks and cows. There's nothing out there but rocks and cows. He's on tape saying it. They never want to admit to it, but then they get caught saying it. There is a there is a condescending. The the way that the left speaks to its voters, it it really is. A message of joy and inclusiveness? No, the message (laughs) of not being educated, being dumb, and what's wrong with America. (laughs) Who said that? Funny just did. Some of these ladies are so unaware that they didn't realize what was said 30 seconds ago. Sonny absolutely just said all of that. What is wrong with Joy, America? My point here is that that's, 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 not, that's not what that's, Kamala Harris said. No, no, no. no. That's my, what I'm my, saying. The, my point is, I don't blame Joe Biden. I don't blame Kamala Harris. Go back as far as you want. I believe, um, I blame a messaging within the Democratic Party. You don't blame well, the Republican Party Can I just Party finish my point, please? So even though this Sarah gal, I don't know these ladies that well. I don't watch The View that much, but this is funny. I mean, even though this Sarah gal is somehow um, able to see that there's a problem, she still brings it back to messaging. It's all the messaging. No, it's the stupid policies, too. I obviously have a problem. Anyone has a problem with Donald Trump. The bigger question should be, yes, Sonny, why did they vote for him? Yes. In sweeping... So they need to be introspective. No, no, no. We need to be introspective. If we voted for they Kamala Harris, we need to say, offering. what didn't resonate with the voters? Do you know what didn't resonate with the voters? When they were saying we don't feel safe and the left focused on defund the police and bail reform. Yeah. When they said they we're also, worrying they about... Also can I just finish? Real, let me just let me just finish real quickly. When they were focused on renaming... Only an hour show, ladies. So, enjoy. <laughs> when they were focused on renaming schools, there were people saying, hey, students are destroying colleges. I paid for that. I sent them there. They can't learn. And everyone apologized for it and didn't want to attend to it. They also denied the border was a crisis and kept saying, no, 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 it's fine. This is not a... The, there was a the border mo- bill, though. There was the a border bill. Yes, but dr- there was a border bill. The border bill that allowed all these illegals to keep coming into the country. That border bill? I mean, it is unreal how unaware people like Joy and Sonny are. Sonny's talking about gun control when they're talking about crime. No, we want criminals locked up. We don't want you taking away our rights. They are so blind. Wait, my There's point is they screamed and screamed and screamed. They didn't vote for him because he's a racist or a misogynist. They voted because they needed help in their everyday yeah, lives. But Sarah, they, they made they the majority of this country because there's a lot every of... stat coming out on the people yeah. willing to self-reflect are showing these Oh, wait, they're going to say, I'm a racist and a misogynist in the exit choice? You I really think, think so. 74 right. million Joy. people are racist. Who's every, say every racist and misogynist voted for Donald Trump. Not everyone that voted for Donald Trump was a racist and misogynist. I agree with that. What, you mean they're going to say they're a racist or misogynist in the exit poll? Joy! Joy! Okay, and then she goes on to agree that every racist and misogynist voted for Donald Trump. That is the biggest crock of crap I've ever heard in my life. Do you guys know any Democrat misogynists? Because I do. I mean, my gosh, you don't need to look further than Democrat. Like Bill Clinton might have been one, don't you think? And do you think that guys who just want to use women might like to have abortion around? So maybe there's a problem with misogyny in the Democrat Party. Everyone swept. They swept every category. And the reason they did is to say, hey, guys, no excuses this time. Yeah. Look, they lost everything. There's still a country that country allows doesn't agree with to him. be ravaged, it's children to be shot, it's wealth to be hoarded, it's workers to be exploited, it's poor to starve, it's cops to murder. So you think America's it's the country problem? In, prob- uh, in trouble. It's so America's trouble. the problem, and the voters are the problem. And I'll hold it for the next segment, right? Folks, this is good news. Since they can't figure it out, and since the bulk of the Democrat politicians can't figure it out, We are going to be dominant for years to come. Remember when they told us demographics was destiny and we were just destined to be losers? And then we've looked at the graph now from 2012, 2016, 2020, and 2024. And the only thing rising, the only thing on the ascendancy is conservatism. Outside of that odd thing that happened in 2020 where Mr. 81 million, who sat around and had people in circles and campaigned from his basement, somehow got 81 million. It's the craziest thing ever. Hey, go check out my sponsor my pillow that's right mypillow.com promo code lumberjack folks for the biggest savings on the best products he just got the towels back in stock go get those towels they're the most absorbent softest towels you'll ever use in your life again mypillow.com forward slash lumberjack or promo code lumberjack also if you're ordering pillows use the 800 number it's 1-800-568-2865 1-800-568-2865 get your christmas gifts from someone who doesn't despise you get them from someone who supports your values like mike lindell at mypillow.com promo code lumberjack peace out